They are worlds apart. Indiana Nice versus DC Vice. Karen Pence, wife of the former Hoosier State Governor, former Congressman and now Vice President Mike Pence, has experienced how brutal and unforgiving the Washington media machine can be, even to those behind the scenes. For a lot of people, or for some people, this piece will be their first introduction to you. What would you want them to know about you? You know, honestly, um, I, I like to focus more on what we're focusing on in the office um, because I don't really feel like the story should be me. Um, we're, we're pretty average people. Ever humble, Mrs. Pence opened up to us in her first sit-down interview since moving into this office. Welcome to the office of the second lady. Apparently, he won't go out to dinner with a woman. Unless his wife is there. And he won't attend events featuring alcohol without her by his side. She so prefers not to talk about recent headlines and social media reaction to her husband's personal and strict policies to protect their marriage, a decision grounded by their faith. And I know on the subject of faith, you are a strong believer. Uh, what role does faith play in your day-to-day -day life? Well, you know, um, Mike said to me once, you know, it's, it's not about um, giving God your day. It's about giving your life to God every day. And that's something I just believe firmly in. And so I think honestly for me, it's important to spend time in the Word each day. That brings you into God's presence and just kind of sets the stage for the kind of day you know, you're going to have. Um, what role does faith play in your marriage? Well, you know, it's interesting because um, when we first started dating, I remember saying something to Mike, something silly like, you know, oh, you're my number one, you know. And he stopped right there and he said, you know what, I'm probably going to disappoint you if you make me number one in your life, you know. And what he was talking about was, you know, you need to have God as number one. Jesus needs to be number one in your life. He doesn't mind being number two, but he just said, you know, I'm human and I'm going to let you down. A lot of people will want to know the secret to your successful marriage. What makes it work? Well, I think our, the secret to our family being successful, actually, I wore this little bracelet today. I wear this a lot. This is a bracelet that my son gave me. Uh, he engraved it. It says, Mama Platoon Sergeant. <laughs> but on the other side, um, he put his favorite quote, his favorite mom quote, and it is, I'm not going to let what's going on out there affect what's going on in here. Their deep faith and commitment to their marriage resonates with a lot of Americans and is something the White House is quick to defend. And they have a beautiful marriage that should be held up as an example of um, a great Christian marriage. And it's also their business. You know, I really have to listen, really have to find the irony in those who scream about everybody's privacy and their individuality and then they're passing judgment on someone else's marriage. What I really learned a lot about in our interview was Mrs. Pence's passions and interests, specifically for helping the hurting. And one of those things you're shining a spotlight on is art therapy. Talk to us about your advocacy and, and what difference you're hoping to make. I've been involved in art therapy for probably about 11 or 12 years. and. And I'm an art teacher and I'm an artist, but I cannot practice art therapy. Before she was First Lady of Indiana, Karen, who loves to paint, taught elementary school for 25 years. As First Lady, she lent her support to art therapy programs at hospitals across the state and now hopes to do the same on a national scale. What we found is art therapy can be used for anybody who's experiencing trauma. So. I've been involved with a lot with uh, children's hospitals and children with cancer, with Tracy's Kids and Riley Children's Hospital uh, in Indianapolis. But it's also something that can be used a lot and very effectively with wounded warriors who are going through PTSD. It's very effective with people who have eating disorders. Um, it can be used for grief counseling. Um, it can be used for someone who just has experienced any kind of trauma. Members of the military have seen plenty of trauma, and that's why another initiative she cares deeply about is supporting military families. The Pence's son serves in the Marines, and a few weeks ago, Karen hosted about two dozen military women at the vice president's residence in honor of Women's History Month.
She also visited Fort Meade in Maryland and the Naval Air Station in Meridian, Mississippi to recognize those serving there and their loved ones. You have the spouses also, and they may not put on the uniform, uh, but these are women who make just as many sacrifices as the women who put on the uniform. They move regularly, um, they have to change their job all the time, they have to be single mom or uh, single spouse for long periods of time, and it's a very difficult life, and so we went to Naval Air Station Meridian, and it was just wonderful. We encouraged all the spouses there. We had a big event in the hangar, pictures with all of them, uh, spent the afternoon, and just try to encourage them and let them know we appreciate you as well. She has a lot on her plate, and the headlines will come and go, but her family and faith keep her focused. When I was an art teacher, uh, we used to say, look for kingdom moments. You know, most, um, most of the appointments that God has set for me today aren't ones that are on my schedule. They're going to be surprises. There are going to be times when someone calls me and I'm late for something. But I want to take the time to, to be there for those uh, God appointments. In Washington, Jenna Browder, CBN News.